Well guys, you, you know I don't have to admit this, but this is my third attempt on the Lock Butcher's Master Lock. Can you believe it? This is not the normal Master Lock. Beautiful shackle, nice thick thing. And this is one of, it is a Model 27 and it is the only replaceable core laminated padlock I've ever seen. I didn't know they even made them. And Lock Butcher took full advantage of that to do a custom pin job on this thing. It does work very smoothly, works perfectly. Um, it is not shimmable. And it looks like we're going to have to try to get in this a third time without the key. So, it's how humiliating. Master Lock, you guys ought to be paying attention. All right, I can tell from the first two 10 minute failed attempts that it's got some serrated in there. It's pretty nasty, very touchy core. It does kind of flop around and it is not spring loaded. And I'm going to try a slightly different pick this time. I'm going to use the 15 thousandths. In the previous two attempts, I had tried the 25 thousandths. Okay, let me move this just a bit here. There we go. All right, very light tension on this thing. And let's see what we got. Usually I get a couple of good clicks, and then the core kind of seizes a little bit, leading me to believe perhaps serrate. Okay, that was pin three. Looking for another binder. Pin two. Okay, I got a very slight fault set. I'm on pin five. He's the binder. Come on. Counter rotation on him. Okay, I still got the fault set going. Feels like pin one. Got to click on him. Three, I'm getting counter rotation. Still got the fault set, so this is a good thing. This is further than I've gotten before. Oh, my neighbor's out there beating on a drum or something. And everything sees. I'm on three again. I think he said I got no feedback. I'm on one. And there we go. All right. So I think one is cut very, very high. Let me, I didn't even study the key, to be honest with you. Yeah, one is really high cut. So that's where I was screwing up. Well, one of my many screw ups. All right, let me zoom out and let's why don't we got this thing and I don't even know what we need here some probably some kind of special tool it is let's see if this is the right size please let it be the right size yes it's not like that Ruko or the Asa where it has some kind of weird metric one this actually is a oh it is metric two and a half millimeter Okay, I don't know how these come apart, guys. So you gotta be a little patient. I don't want anything springing out on me. Just a steel plate. Looks like it's got little locking pawls that slide down into the groove. I'm looking for weak points as we go through, and I don't see them so far. Okay, I'm gonna set the lock down and take a look inside of here. Okay, you can see where the quarter moon fits into one of those actuator slots on the bottom. The spring that you see on the side there is for the shackle. And then it looks like it looks like the one of the laminations on this side is actually threaded to hold the plate on. I've never seen this, sorry to, for the delay, but I wanted to know what's inside there. It looks like a standard master lock core. It's got the pinched, oops, it's got the pinched edges. So thank goodness we have a key. Many times you can turn these very slightly like there, somewhere in there, and it should release. Stay with me. I really don't want to have to grind anything on this thing. 
Come on, play nice. I tried at 90. Feels like a replay of the other day when I tore. Oh, here we go. There we go. So you turn it at 90 degrees, and then you can bypass. You see where the dent on the side it fits right into the bottom of the keyway. Then it'll slide out. All right. So we are going to need a special. Oh man. Why you got to be this way? And that will not fit in there. All right, we're going to do this backwards. I'm going to pull the pins out from the back. And we're going to need these guys. Make sure I don't drop those out. Keep my thumb on top of the key pins. And it looks like the last one is a homemade, very sharp spool. Can you tell I rehearsed this? Also a very sharp spool. So there should be five. So that would be there. Everybody in there. Come out of there. This next one doesn't want to come out. He's stuck up in there. Just barely sticking above the shear line. Got to have a really weak spring on that one. Another spool. Come on. That looks like a cop, mini cop, mini Essa. Oh god, I just dropped all the key pins. Okay, springs are all nothing special. None of the key pins look like they are... Doesn't matter, these are all standard, thank goodness. I can put them back in the right sequence. Alright, let's take a look here. Okay, all of them, looks like all of them are threaded. And on the Bible, all standard, nothing threaded on the bottom of there. Why in the world was this so hard? My goodness. It's amazing what some serrations in those chambers can do when you put in some sharp, very sharp edged homemade pins. These two look like miniature assas, like those Christmas trees that we talked about. On this spool, if you'll take a look at the bottom edge of that thing, that is incredibly sharp. That'll grab up in those serrations very quickly. And these other two are just spools, different widths, and this one looks a little bit sharp as well. Bottom, all key pins. These are not in the correct order. You saw me spill them, but uh, the key was working perfectly before we started, at least before Bill got a hold of the lock. It was working great. Now there's no telling what's going to go on. Anyway, if you would like to have this lock after I get it back together and take a crack at it, I may do a little bit more alien te technology in there, but uh, this is the way master locks should put them together. Anyway, I, uh, the lock butcher, thank you, sir, for the lock. Leave your comment in 24 hours. The computer will randomly pick one of you lucky devils to get this thing anywhere on the planet Earth. Thanks for your time. Stay safe. Stay legal.